This is day one of my seven day venture with Windows 7. This is the first build of Windows 7. They've already made a few improvements since my version of Windows 7. I have not updated it yet, but let's give you a quick tour. I've got the taskbar here at the top just to make it easier for you to see it. And the new taskbar looks very eerily similar to Windows Vista, but there are some differences. As you can see, the icons are huge. You can't adjust these, but these are your quick launch icons, but they also double as your taskbar icon. So if I launch Firefox, for example, you do not get a different button. You instead, by hovering on Firefox, get a thumbnail of Firefox. If I open a second window in Firefox, you can see that there was just a slight little edge here to the Firefox icon. If I hover on the Firefox icon on the taskbar, I get thumbnails of both open windows. So that's one quick change is the taskbar on Windows 7 becomes a quick launch bar and a taskbar depending on whether or not the program supports it. I have an open office quick launch icon here but, but when I launched open office it actually added an, a new icon for the open office program so when I close this window that little icon went away. Let's go to the start button. Start button looks again very similar to Windows Vista they have enhanced though and made one of the best features of Vista which is the search programs and files down here they've made that even better so let's say you want to go to your control panel and change your wallpaper if I just type in wall you can see very quickly I got change my desktop background just by typing in wall so if I click that it brings me right to where the wallpaper is now you'll see that this this is a new feature in Windows 7 where you can choose any number of different photos including your own and have the photos rotate on your desktop at intervals that you choose if you choose to do that. I know that somewhere in my files I have a document that has the word router in it so if I just start typing in router you can see it quickly brings up any files that have that term in it. So the little run bar here, the search bar in the Windows 7 works very quickly and even more powerful than what we saw in Windows Vista which again I think was Windows Vista's most endearing feature was this super search down here. If we look at the programs menu you'll notice that there's something conspicuously missing and that's an email program. Since the first versions of Windows 95 on up there's always been either Outlook Express or they changed it to Windows Mail in Windows Vista but they've dropped it for some reason in Windows 7 it is gone for you people who love playing solitaire you will note that solitaire is still available in Windows 7 and they've added a few other games including Mahjong and a chess game as well to the standard fare in Windows 7 and then the last quick thing I'll show you in my first night here with Windows 7 is the desktop the desktop has new widgets. They used to have what's called the sidebar that was mounted at all times over here on the right hand side or wherever you wanted it. But now the widgets are completely independent of that bar and you can move them wherever you want. I have my weather widget here and the weather widget you can make it larger, see a little bit of a forecast, make it smaller just by clicking that button. Here I have a Google search. So if I want to look for a map of Spain for example I can search for that right from the desktop and it'll bring Google right up so those are a few of the quick things I wanted to show you about Windows 7 throughout the week I'll be giving you some more features and tours of the new Windows 7 that's supposed to be released sometime this year could be as late as early next year we'll find out very soon